everybody i know i look a little crazy but today i am doing this makeup look based on persephone from lore olympus my favorite story i've been on it's like a comic it's on webtoons and i've been obsessed with it for a very very long time now it's not even just that i love the stories that i relate to her with so many things so i actually so this was something that i've been wanting to do for over a year now and i hope you enjoy know how to get this look just keep watching so to be persephone she's pink and i thought to get these they're like they're body paint spray cans but the first bottle clearly didn't do so good um so i'm like let me keep trying and see what happens again so because i thought i wanted to spray this but my face as like a base I just felt like I shouldn't have to take two hands to do this especially if your picture is like this let's try my face because I don't have huge brushes to be painting my whole body So I know it's gonna take a lot of time if I do. So I was like, let's see. I mean, all right. Well, we're gonna work with it. So I mixed my body paint because it's not really like normal body paint. Like they're very creamy. Um, so I mixed that, the pink, and a little bit of white. With it, put primer and lotion, and this is like the result I got. So I'm gonna do that to my body. So this is the results from it. You see how how much it coats from doing that. Putting it on my neck and I want to put it on my face as well. Make sure you get your shoulders. Don't forget your shoulders. So to start off with my face, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild paint palette. I used this last year for the um the Backstreet Boys makeup look when I did Kevin and it actually was really pigmented and really good so I'm going to use it again but this is a, a different color palette. So for the face I mixed the dark pink and the light pink just to make it light, lighter. I'm applying with this and then I'm going to blend it out with um, a disposable makeup sponge like the makeup wedges. blending it out like if it's foundation and in case you didn't notice I popped in some pink lenses that are from TTI TTDI Basically, like we do contouring and highlighting, I'm doing the same thing here. We can leave this part blank because, mm, no, let's cover it all. Cover it all. I'm 
setting it with setting powder. Using my Artistry palette from James Charles, I'm going into this hot pink color, mixing it into the lighter one so it won't be too dark. And I'm going to contour my face. Back into my powder, my one size powder. I am going to make as I normally do. Well, I never bake for long, I only keep it for like a little. I don't do it long like other people do. actually going to round out the contour more because she does have a round face and I, I don't know if people say I have a round face but it's a long round face I don't know how to explain my face taking a mixture of the setting powder and one of the pink eyeshadows um I'm going to now blend it and dust it off at the same time toned down the lighter pink by doing that and made it a little darker pink which is what I wanted and plus it also helps when I'm brushing over when I'm setting everything and brushing away the extra part that we did for the highlighting or well, the highlighting for the contouring part not highlighting like the shiny part So she has big doe eyes and what I'm going to do, I am going to put a little, a little bit of glam on the eyes because why not? So going into the crease, I'm using the Fiery from the ColourPop collection. Clearly I ain't get a good amount for this eye. <laughs> there we go. Using Paradiso, which is a purple, I'm going to define the crease more and I'm actually going round. Normally, I flare down the corner and I'm trying not to do that because I want my eyes to be a little more rounder. actually going to just blend the whole thing away I'm going to take the light face paint and I'm going to cut my crease like the concealer then I'm going to pack in fair play which is another pink color going to round out the corner and I'm going to blend it into the crease part to soften everything up. Hey, see how doing that softened up and highlighted the problem? Just put a little more here. Wow, I like it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, 
also do the same thing. back with the page to highlight a little more here and a little more here so mixing two hot pinks I am going on the bottom lid and I'm rounding it out and I'm going a little more down and make oh, so that when I do everything else my eye seems a little bigger What I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're not doing a wing, we're lining the top but we're not doing a wing. That's why you start from the outside. Like yeah, it's going to go like this. See that tiny little wing? Because really I don't want it out. I don't want to shape it long. I want it to be rounded. I want my eye to be rounded. Taking a black shadow, I'm going to just color, lightly blend the bottom lash line. Take a white liner and water the bottom, you know, water line. Stepping away from the eyes for a second. Um, taking a dark, the dark, it's like a dark um, maroon color. I'm going to make freckles because she has freckles. And I actually decided to mix it with some brown ones. So brown and maroon. How we used this to set before, going back with the setting powder just to smooth it all out. Yeah, in most of her drawings she has freckles. Of course some of them she don't and just because you know you're not going to draw them in every single thing especially when they're like distant pictures. So that's why I added the freckles on my face and now I'm just going to add mascara to my lashes, top and bottom. So for my brows, on the cover it actually looks feathered and then in other inside of the episodes, some sometimes it looks thick, sometimes a little thinner. So I'm just going to follow my natural line. I actually have naturally thick brows. I'm gonna go up a little here. Nothing crazy. Here and here. I actually have in any makeup tutorial the most boring brown routine unless I have to make them disappear because I have thick brows. Now we're just going to brush them out. But I don't mind leaving it a little fluffed here. So going in with, it's over it, it's like a highlighter. Well, no, it's a eyeshadow, but it's shimmer. I'm gonna mix it with your catch, which is a white shimmer, and I'm going to highlight my face using those two colors. Actually, I used all of it and winged it. It's a glittery pink. I'm just combining all these pinks and champagnes and lights just to get my highlight in. Actually, I'm going to dab it on with my finger instead. 
cheekbone. We want to make it highlight. Little bit of highlight. Using red, I'm going to line my lip instead. Take my Ofer Cosmetics lipstick and put it on. Found this matte lipstick, so I'm going to use this one over it. So the inspiration for this for this specific look was the moment where they meet and he didn't know that they met. If you read the webtoon, you'll know. And so what I'm going to do, because she's glowing with butterflies, I want to personally, my touch, add glitter here on the face. And then add a little in the inner corner. Just to make it look a little more magical. I need to spray it with my setting spray. What I'm going to do is pop on the wig and then continue from there on. So I popped on my wig and some butterflies that I found on Amazon, the clip and butterflies. I popped these in because when he meets her, she has butterflies on her head. My hair was actually less pink than this, as you can see. So I had to like do some bullshit basically to cover it. This is the finished look as Persephone from Laura Olympus. Just know that I painted my body, well try to, and added glitter. That's why my chest looks like this, but it was kind of a fail. I didn't really like the way it came out, but it looks nice from a distance. video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye